We're back and it's clay gun time. There are different kinds on the uh, market. Um, I have two of them here. This one actually holds a little bit more of the fondant, um, but this one's a good one also. This one you pop this way and this one you have to kind of screw it this way. Um, so I this is the attachment I have right here. I want to have the tassel, I want it to be red and gold. So it's actually easier if I use the red and then just paint some of the red gold. So what I need to do is first get it into the cylinder. It's easier if you just pop it into a cord shape and it needs to be thin enough that it'll actually go down there. You don't want to be shoving it in there because it'll never go all the way down. Okay, then pop this on, screw this all the way down and we will be ready to go. Okay, so this one's ready, and then I want to take this other one with this other attachment, and I want to put some red in this also. Okay, we'll just get both of them ready to go, and then we can... Same thing to fill it up. Okay, so we're going to start with this one. I'm just going to squeeze this out, and this is going to make a rope. So from the top of the cap here, we're going to have a rope come down and over slightly. Okay, so this is how it comes out. It's like three um, cords, two on the bottom, one on top, and then what you do is you twist them opposite directions to make the rope. Which I'm sure you've seen me use this many a time. It's one of my favorite tools. Okay. So we just need a little bit, and I, I'll just wrap it around. I'll just kind of secure it, like so. Okay, so I'll put that right on top. If it doesn't stick, then just add a little bit of water. Okay, now we want to go ahead and get some of this out. Okay, so I'm going to cut some of this off, about here, and then I'm going to keep going, about the same length, pop that on top. Okay, and then what I want to do is actually fold this over to make it larger. I need to take a small ball of fondant, something like this, place it right about in the center, then take this one end and bring it over the top of that ball of fondant. Okay, and then the ball of fondant's right in here, so then I want to pinch it right about here. And that's how we make our tassel. Okay, if these are sticking together, you can kind of pull them apart a little bit. Now for this part, we need to have a little bit more come out. That's good. We'll cut that off. Kind of pinch it together a little bit and place it right over the top. Cut off the excess. Wrap that around. And then this is what is going to hang off here. So what we need is a little bit of water. There we go. All right, so the next thing we want to do is make a diploma down here, kind of laying across the, one of the books, and we're going to use some white fondant for that. 